you can't smell anything unusual in the air where we're standing and in this immediate area there doesn't appear to be any substances coated on the surface, but on the other side of this chemical plant residents say that's not the case. Either way, they're still being asked to stay inside their homes right now, or at least as of about an hour ago they were and the EPA now says they have people going block by block checking water runoff and the air to make sure what happened here this morning isn't toxic. A huge fireball erupted and thick clouds of smoke spilled into the sky over La Salle this morning. That's what you see in this video that was shared widely on social media. I looked up and it looked like the end of the world. There was a green mushroom cloud that must have went 600 feet into the air. Firefighters say the explosions came after something caught on fire inside the Keras chemical plant. Almost immediately, people who live nearby said some sort of substance started raining down on their homes, their yards, their decks and their cars. When I hit the windshield wipers, it was looked black to me, then it turned green, and uh, now it's like a brown color. Another neighbor shared these photos of what she says is a hole eaten in her patio furniture. It's rusted out, she says, since the fire this morning. After firefighters were able to contain, then extinguish the chemical blaze, a representative with Keras Chemical tried to reassure residents. Some of the material that was released during the uh, incident uh, potassium permanganate is used as a drinking water material. If you come in contact with that material, it can cause staining on the skin. The stain does not pose a, uh, a health threat. People who live nearby are still being asked to stay in their homes. They know what they're making, and for them to say that they would let their dog in their backyard and eat some of that grass that that stuff just fell on, I, I find that really, really appalling. As environmental workers monitor the air and water for any possible contamination, the mayor of LaSalle is extolling the single piece of good news from the sci-fi looking explosion this morning. Thank God we had a situation where nobody was killed, uh, nobody was seriously injured. Keras Chemical says they had about 90 employees who were inside the building when this happened. All of them were able to get out safely. Now there are several different departments involved in trying to figure out exactly what started this fire. Investigators say the next time we can expect to hear any update from them is tomorrow afternoon. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.